So as you can see here, the PID is now working and you can see the X, the Y and the Z, they are almost close to zero. And if I move, for example, in the X direction, the drone is following me. If I move the other way around, it follows me as well. It's trying to get to that zero point. And then let's try out the Y. So I have a chair here. I'm going to sit. So it should follow me and go down. There you go. So it's going down, it's coming to my level. And then if I stand up, it should come up and follow at my level. Again, we don't want any rapid movement because it's an indoor environment. We want it to be safe. So that's why we're not doing that. So if I go backwards, it should come closer towards me. And uh, vice versa, if I come closer, it should go backwards. But again, we keep it very slow uh, in order to avoid any dramatic movements because it is again an indoor environment again if we move around we can easily rotate and if I duck down it should come to my level there you go and again if I go up it should follow me up here so as you can see the PID is working quite well again uh, there's a lot of uh, room for improvement whenever you are tuning the PID parameters so we can always get better results by spending a little more time on the tuning part. So this is basically body following. And the good thing here is that uh, it is tracking half of the body. If it was tracking the complete body or it was detecting the complete body, it will be a little more harder because the legs are not always shown uh, because the, the drone is quite close to us. Otherwise, we will have to uh, push it further away and it is not very safe in an indoor environment. So we have the option of keeping it close or we have the option of keeping it far and doing the full body. So I, I prefer personally the half body detection, which is much better than the full body. So this is how the PID works. And uh, again, you can spend more time to actually improve this.